All right, um, for this problem, I want to show you guys how to add fractions when um, you're dealing with improper fractions. So it's really actually the basically the exact same thing, but a lot of times this gets students mixed up, so I wanted to make a quick video on it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you're dealing with make, um, improper fractions, all that's telling you is that you're selecting more parts than make up a whole. So you can see here, remember, a fraction is your part over a whole. So here what I've done is I've selected five parts over five parts makes up one whole but there's an extra three more parts so five plus three is giving us eight parts total selected where it only takes up five parts to make a whole if I'm gonna add that to now six parts all again simply you're just gonna do is just add your eight plus your six which is gonna give you fourteen over five so if I want to represent that answer um, fourteen over five well, remember, it only takes five parts to make up a whole. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to have to add another five to make ten. Then there's going to be four more parts. So one, two, three, four. And you can see how my answer is represented. I've, if I've added up all these parts, that will give me a total of 14 which I've represented here. And I'm just going to leave my answer here as an improper fraction. Um, I'll show you guys those videos on, imp on mixed numbers uh, a little bit later. But as a mathematician, we really like to keep uh, things in improper fractions. So let's just work on one more problem here. And I'm not going to make uh, some nice little bars for you, but I'll just you know, kind of go through again, just making sure you understand that whenever you have improper fractions and you have to add them, just remember, keep your denominator the same. That's telling us how many, how many times we need to section off our, our 7? That's it. Or I'm sorry, how many times we have to section off the whole? But there's 7 pieces in a whole. But I've chosen 12 pieces and 13 pieces. So by adding them up, I'm going to get 25 pieces over 7. All right? So that's very important for us to understand, especially when we get into mixed numbers. Keep your denominator the same. Just add the numerators. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is the matting fractions improperly.